everyone, what's going on? It is Hedrick Blitz or Justin, welcome back to a little update video saying that I am back. As you guys can see the whole setup going on back here. I am back in the house that is mine. I am back in my house, as that's how normal people would say it. So, I got back earlier today, and, um, well, technically, it's, technically, it is Saturday the 22nd. It's 12.39 a.m., so it's like... 40 minutes into the day. So I'm gonna, for the rest of this video, I'm representing today as t t Friday. Even though you're seeing this Saturday anyways, that just makes zero sense. So, I uh, left Washington today. Pretty sad times, very, very sad stuff. It was all just a whole horrid day. I stayed up on, okay, so on Thursday, right, we're going back to Thursday now, and then you're seeing Saturday. I woke up at 3 p.m. PST because that's just when I woke up. And uh, actually I decided to stay up all night. You guys may have heard about that in the vlog, which I will link in the description if you guys want to check that out, because I thought it was kind of a cool different style of vlogging for me, so go check it out if you want to. And um, set up all night until six, we left, got drove to the airport, I um, put my stuff away, said goodbye to Ashley, it was very sad times. Waited in what is apparently a very huge line. That's like the first I've seen at her airport got in, was almost late to boarding, even though I was first class flying back, so even though I was a little bit, a little bit late to boarding for my class zone, it wouldn't have mattered because I would have just been able to go in instantly. Um, so that was fine. It was now 7. The last thing I had to eat was around like 5 to 6 a.m. I don't really know what it I think I had like a cookie at like 5, 15 a.m. That's all I pretty much had at that point in time. So, flew, was able to sleep a little bit, kind of missed the breakfast on the plane for first class because I was sleeping. And missed all the pretzels and stuff because I was sleeping again. So got off. We were a little bit delayed. And then I was trying to find my gate. And without me realizing it, I'd passed my gate already. So I had to backtrack back to my gate. Was almost like the boarding there as well. There was no good food that I would like around the area. So I boarded the plane. Got on. Fell asleep again. Because again, you know, I had not been... I had not slept in about 24 hours at that point. Uh, besides like the one hour, you know, for the prior flight. So then I slept on that flight all the way through again, missed uh, lunch and all the pretzels and all that stuff because I was sleeping. Got home at 5, 16 p.m. EST, and uh, my parents picked me up because obviously I had someone pick me up. And then we went to, we went to McDonald's, and uh, at that point when I finally ate at McDonald's, it had been about 13 or 14 hours since I'd eaten food. So I was feeling a bit queasy, I was feeling a bit nauseous and a bit dizzy. So uh, on the way home, I almost puked, it was bad. And I'm not going to go into this, I'm not going to go into this that much, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know my dog, not here anymore, passed away, so I don't have him here anymore, and that was very sad to like, like truly realize it when I got home, because obviously I had known before I got home, but experiencing walking into your house and not having your dog, it's just it's sad, and I'm off it now because it's very sad for me to talk about. So anyways, we're today, and... I've been up since I got home, obviously, so not slept. I'm still pulling on five hours in the past two days, 48 hours there, so it's pretty bad. And um, that was four minutes of explaining stuff, so bam, right there, explanations. Anyways, the update time. So, first off, guys, second channel, slash, or youtube.com slash acidic bros. Go there, subscribe, enjoy the videos, because for like the fourth time I know, that's a lot, I am reviving it. It's already been revived. It's currently, you know, not having videos on it because I was gone, obviously. But I'm finishing the series when we were there. And I personally am really enjoying Call of Duty again right now. So I'm probably going to be posting more Call of Duty gameplay over there. Uh, by the time you're watching this, I'll, I'll have already posted a Black Ops 3 beta gameplay over there. And um, it was like a short video, but it was kind of some cool clips that I got. And I'm probably going to post some more BO3 gameplay over there and maybe some other stuff on PS3, like some Black Ops 1, 2, Mono for 3 kind of Call of Duty stuff, or other games. I don't really know. All I know is that I'm bringing that channel back in full stride. So make sure you guys go over there, subscribe, view the videos, and um, give you a good time. Some videos, obviously, it will be kind of like a Let's Play channel, including gameplay like Call of Duty stuff, or like maybe Halo if I ever play that for some reason. I don't really know. I might play the new one that's going to come out on Xbox whenever it does. Or Need for Speed, one of those. I don't know. We're gonna play a lot of things, and um, there's that. So if you don't like the videos over there, then you may want to sub anyways, because eventually you may like a series. It's kind of like a Let's Play channel. I watch Cry, uh, Cryotic. He Let's Plays a lot of games. I've only watched like three of the Let's Plays of his entire channel. 
There's a lot of Let's Plays there, but I'm subscribed because there are certain games that I do like. So, and I assume in the future there'll be more games that I like than it as well. So, that's why I sub to Let's Play channels. That's why you guys may want to sub to Cynic Bros. All you, though, if you want more of me, go over to it. If you don't, that's fine. Now, this channel. You guys are probably focusing on this channel. So, this channel. As you guys know, I've only been uploading one video a day the past, like, week. And, first off, guys, I deeply, deeply, truly apologize for that. I never like going a day with only uploading one video for that day. Because I feel just horrible about it. Undercut, had nosebleed, we're back. Um, so, going one day, let alone going seven days, only uploading one video a day, really made me not happy with my channel. Because I was only doing that. I felt like I was screwing you guys over. Because you, you've always been used to two or three videos a day. Including the streams. And I feel like I was really dropping the ball there, letting you guys down. So, I really do deeply apologize, guys. I do, I swear. I just, with everything actually I was doing over there, I just could not find enough time. I probably could have, and again, that's my fault. And I don't want to make excuses, so it was just my fault. But we're back, we're here today. And starting the day you're watching this video, daily videos, uh, two daily videos a day, will be resuming like the usual. So every single day you'll be seeing two videos a day. Unless for some odd reason I can only get one out, and there should never be a reason for that. But if there is, I'm sure you can find it on my Twitter, link in the description. Um, you should follow that because it's pretty cool. So, yeah. With that, I am going to be editing my videos a lot more. As you guys have probably noticed, in the past month or so, I have been putting a lot of emphasis and work into editing my videos into a very, very nice viewing experience. Whether it be just with music, some nice clipping, actual very in-depth, time-consuming editing. Um, even if it's just for a short period of the, of like the video, that probably took a long time to edit. Um, I'll probably be linking a couple of those while I'm talking about this in the screen, like three of my most favorite edited videos recently, or just three of the most recent ones that I know of that you guys may have missed, so definitely go watch those if you want to see some really highly edited videos, and I like doing that, I enjoy editing, and I feel you guys really like that as well because the reception on those videos has been very, very positive, so I want to keep doing that a lot more, so the plan is to always have a... I want to say highly edited video, but like highly edited it could be back to like my UHC highlights that took me like four hours. I can't do that. Because I just think I, I think I just spit. Oh my god. Um, anyways, I can't do that because doing that twice a day, plus streaming, plus second channel, plus trying to talk to my girlfriend and my friend, I would die. I would literally die. I apologize, but I cannot do that because I would die. Um, so I'm going to try and do one edited video a day, and the other one may be edited as well. I probably will be, because to be honest, when I upload a video that's not edited at all, I feel kind of crappy about it. And I feel crappy because it's like I didn't put any effort into it. Now, some videos may not have editing in it because I did the editing, didn't like it, didn't like how it turned out at all, and just figured the video was fine without editing. Some videos need that, some videos are like that, especially Sky Wars where I have to show that I'm not, like, cutting around games because I don't want to be known as, like, a cheater or something like that. And just for the sheer sake of people even trying to say something, I just don't bother. So I just let it stay there like that and maybe edit the in-game stuff like that. So either way, you guys will love it, I hope, because you guys have loved all of the uh, edited content in the past so far. So much appreciate you guys for the support. The continued support throughout the weird time the channel has had, whether it be, you know, only going through one video a day sometimes... Uh, I know, I don't think I've gone, a, I think I've gone a very long time without doing even a video a day. I can't remember the last time I only uploaded no video on the day. I don't remember. I may have, I don't know when though. Maybe like two years ago? I don't know, it's been a while. So, there's that. So, two videos a day, coming in soon. Pretty obvious, but I want to touch on the editing part of it because you guys seem to like it. And I want to make sure you guys know I'll be doing that a lot more with my videos. So, yeah. And that leads on to the third and final thing in this video, well probably not the final thing because I like rambling, is the streaming portion of what I do. Now, as you guys know on my Twitch, I used to have it be from 6pm EST, and well I used to have it be from like 4 to 6, and then it was like 6 to, was it 6 to 8? Whatever it was way back, that was like a year ago. Um, it used to be 6 to 10 PM EST, but for school, for summer, because no one had school, I changed it from, er, to 4 PM EST until about 9 PM EST, or 10. Um, now, I like that, but since school is starting back up, and I know 4 p.m. EST, since it's EST, almost everyone in the world is out of school anyways, but I want to make sure everyone's out of school when I start streaming. So, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to start streaming around 5 p.m. EST from now on. And that can be very, very, very flexible. If there's like a bad line at 4 that I want to play, I'll do it. If there's an event happening at 4 and I want to do it, then I'll stream. If something comes up and I want to stream at 4, I'll do it. Um, basically, I've always talked to the, the mentality of you should always stream on a set schedule because then people will know where to find you, when to find you, and where to enjoy your content. Now for Twitch, I've gone at that for a full year. I have done, I have been streaming daily for a straight year now. It has been an anniversary. We've had the anniversary. It was great fun times. It was awesome. Um, during those times, I've changed my starting time three separate times. Um, all relatively needed and very worthy of why I did it. I think this one is also very needed and worthy of what I'm doing. Because for my schedule, with the videos I'm trying to do, and the second channel I'm trying to do, and the friend time, and the girlfriend time, and my own time, I think this is the best possible way to do it, because I'm really worth streaming schedule, and streaming it for, sometimes I didn't really want to do it, but I felt obligated and I felt forced to do it at four, because I say I do it at four. I don't want to feel that way when I'm streaming. I don't want to feel like I'm forced to stream. So I would like to start at 5, where it's just easier for me. It's easier for everyone if I start at 5 p.m. EST and maybe wondering when's the end time. I am not putting a time on that. From now on, my stream start at 5 p.m. EST. Flexible, though. Until... Question mark. An undisclosed time and location. Time. Not really location at all. So yeah, odds are I'll probably go for at least three hours every day. I don't really see myself doing less than three hours every day. But it could be like, you know, three hours. It could be five hours. It could be eight hours. Who knows? You don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's just the best way to do it. So, 5 p.m. EST until question mark like lucky blocks. All of my streams will now be going. I'll be doing the usual Minecraft UHC stuff, Sky Wars stuff, I may do some more Rocket League stuff, Pro probably some Black Ops 3 beta here soon, possibly today and tomorrow. I believe the beta runs, uh, like, it ends tomorrow, I don't know what time or what, like, the exact specifications on that, but I'm pretty sure it ends Sunday for PS4. I don't, I will not be getting it for PC or Xbox One, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. A lot of updates, very serious stuff. Oh, shout out to those who bought the, uh, Soul Collector t-shirt, that design in the t-shirt form will not be available ever again so to those who did buy it and own it or are receiving it soon congrats i own it myself obviously you guys will not be able to order that anymore so if you got it good job you're very exclusive and you're very beautiful and um to those who did not get it i'll leave a link to it in the description if i don't know how teespring works but apparently if you like get enough requests for it it will just relaunch itself so that's a thing if you ever wanted to do it just go for it i guess or you can tweet me um, maybe next year, I'll do it again, maybe next year, I don't, I don't really know, man, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I am very tired, and my throat's killing me. So I'm gonna go to sleep now, probably, after I render this, edit it, and, you know, upload it. So that's probably gonna be another hour and a half. Anyways, that's all the updates, so, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, share it around, if you're ready to subscribe. Check out the second channel, streams, all that stuff down there. Other than that, I'll talk to you all later. I'll say, guys, I love you all, peace out.